Here I am, back again. So, um, for the tech nerds out there who are thinking about using Hopin as a platform, Hopin uh, allows streaming stuff from outside via RTMP. And this is what's going to happen right now if my uh, laptop is working um, as advertised. Um, in a second or so, you should see uh, a recording of a presentation by Roberto Dominguez from Comalatech about uh, how an app vendor prepares for um, the serverless future. Roberto and, and his colleagues are here, and they have a booth if you want to talk to them. Uh, and he will be available for Q&A. Um, we're just using a recording because of the time differences. Komala Tech is a Canadian company, as you might know. So um, that was a bit uh, yeah, difficult to do that live. Uh, without enough sleep. So without further ado, I'm pushing a button and hopefully we'll see the presentation right now. Hello, I'm Roberto from Comala Tech and wanted to talk to you about your options after Atlassian's recent announcement of deprecating server. This coming from the perspective of an app vendor. But just briefly, let me tell you about Comala Tech. We've been in the Atlassian ecosystem since 2007, where we launched the first version of our flagship product, which is Document Management for Confluence. In terms of cloud, we've been providing Jira and Confluence apps since 2013, and for the last couple of years, we've been working with Atlassian in bringing customers to the cloud, and we're participating on the Early Access Program uh, for Migration and Enterprise apps. We also participated of security and certification initiatives. Our team is in Canada, Spain, and Mexico, and we've been part of the Ecosystem Council since 2016. Now, as we know, Atlassian is going to stop selling server licenses for their products on February 2021, and they will stop our support in 2024. Apps will still going to be available for purchase, but they will end support also in 2024. So what are your options? Well, your first choice, and the main reason why Atlassian is doing this, is to move to cloud. However, it is not an option for most at this time, as some of the apps organizations that depend on might not be available or are not ready in cloud. And also, uh, there is no easy way to migrate your app data uh, to the cloud. So if things are not ready for you now, and uh, so then you can stay in server. You have three years to make the move, and it will give time for Atlassian and app vendors to be ready. Now, going to data center might be an option for some of you, and this will take you beyond 2024 without making a major change in your organization, but it will gonna cost you more. We know, for example, that for some of our uh, customers moving to data center or leaving cloud will have an increase in, of 200 to 300%. And now, on the other hand, uh, going to data center will not imply significant logistic and migration challenges, which often have a bigger impact on that the licenses fees uh, themselves. So this might be an actual sa savings for some, for some customers. Now, to determine you can move to cloud, you need to assess the apps you rely on. Now, assessing apps is complex and time consuming as we know that most organizations use several apps and use several Atlassian products. To help you with this, the Atlassian products provide a migration assistant tool, which gives you information of the cloud availability of the apps you need. First, you need to find out uh, if a version of your app is available in cloud. Now, Atlassian had been promoting cloud for several years now, and there have been opportunities for, for, for vendors to start porting their apps. So even if not all the features. What is important for the app vendors to be already working in the cloud, and this requires significant organization ch changes, and this is going to take some time. Now, it might be the case that certain apps will never be available in cloud, or that certain features cannot be fully met in cloud. In this case, you should be looking at the solution the apps provide as opposed to the features they have. So you need to find out uh, if the apps can meet your needs. It's important to understand that in many cases, apps will not have feature parity given Atlassian and cloud limitations, in which case you will be looking at alternative solutions. 
you should talk to your vendors to learn and what the limitations are and what are the alternatives and workarounds. Now, this is also a good opportunity to reset your actual needs. Now, depending on the apps and the time you've been with uh, using using the, the, the apps, uh, there might be some data that will have to be migrated. Atlassian is working on a framework to migrate such data, uh, which will allow vendors to migrate uh, uh, as part of their content migration. Now, not everything might be available now, but so you need to learn from the vendors what is the roadmap to meet not only the app features uh, uh, parity or the, uh, in cloud, uh, but also uh, meet uh, the additional cloud requirements such as migration, security, and data residency. Now, to have a better understanding of where vendors are in fully supporting you in cloud, I wanted to share some of the challenges we're facing. First of all, there are integration limitations. In server and data center, we have pretty much access to every part of Confluence and Jira, be it backend or the, or the UI. In cloud, it's way more complicated, and we can only use what Atlassian exposes, which is at this time very limited to compare to what we can do in server and data center. So we need to work around such limitations. There are also technology limitations. As everything is done via HTTP request, there's latency issues we need to work uh, to deal with. Furthermore, the existing platform for developing apps is getting obsolete, and the new framework promoted by Atlassian is not ready yet. So we have to make an investment on both uh, frameworks, and this can be quite challenging. Now, within the product themselves, this is Jira Confluence, there are limitations that pose challenges to ensure data integrity and migration of data. And very important, having to support cloud products imply a, a big change in the way we operate, as we need to make sure we meet our SLAs and we follow the data protection regulations and security requirements. So this is going to take some time. After all, uh, it's a multi-year journey. But what is important is to understand where your app vendors are to decide so you can plan accordingly. At this time, as, as this is going to take some time, then for some of you, the immediate option is to take server on the cloud or data center is ready for you. You have three years to prepare your move, and we recommend uh, to renew before February 2021 as prices are going to go up. As far as the feature is concerned, if you stay in server, do not expect too many features to be added to your apps, as it's very difficult for vendors to justify new investment on a platform that is going to end in three years. Now, staying in the server is going to buy, to buy you some time, but just must start evaluating your options in cloud, assessing what you will have to migrate and, and get ready for the, for the actual move. Now, going to data center is an option for you, uh, for some of you. First of all, you need to, to, to find out if a data center version of your apps are already there. If they're not, just contact the vendor. Uh, uh, supporting data center is not as complex as, as supporting cloud is. It's going to cost you more. That's We talked about that. Uh, it's something we need, you need to, to work out. And on the other hand, as I pointed out too, uh, is going to have the least impact of, of, of your content or your processes as the platform is similar to server. So takeaways, uh, I think uh, what, we're, what we recommend you and what you can start working on is you need to start assessing the apps, the usage of your apps and their availability uh, in cloud. Uh, uh, the products provide a conference and Jira provide a migration assistant that can help you with this. Uh, it's very important you keep good communication with the vendors and understand the roadmap so you understand when things are going to be ready if they're not ready yet. The sooner you can, you should start uh, evaluating the, the cloud apps and provide feedback again to the vendors so vendors we can prioritize based on the, the needs uh, of people moving. And then start planning for the move. As I said, uh, for the migration itself, uh, get in touch, uh, at, especially at the beginning, that's going to take a little bit more extra work. Uh, migrate your data, make the move. And that's all uh, what I wanted to talk to you about. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, get in touch. 
Uh, we adventurers are very interested in being part of your success. So uh, in this uh, journey, we're already there for, for you. Just get in touch. Thanks again. Too many buttons. I, there's an unmute button and I pushed the mute button. So now I should be audible again, sorry. Um, okay, that was very interesting perspective from an app vendor. And judging by, this, by the chat, you have lots of stuff to talk about. 